Welcome to EWTN's Religious Catalog. EWTN's founders, our beloved Mother Angelica, first brought this program into the homes of EWTN viewers in 1996. Since then, Religious Catalog has offered thousands of Catholic products, including good books, beautiful religious art, rosaries and medals, statues of Our Lord, Our Lady, the saints, and crucifixes, all designed to enrich our spiritual lives. Religious Catalog is also your source for many of the favorite programs seen here on EWTN, including exclusive series, specials, live shows, and feature films. I hope you have a blessed reminder of the love of Jesus in your house and in your heart. And now, here's Mother Angelica. Well, hi there. Welcome to our religious catalog show. And don't forget, please don't let buying something here take away from your contribution because we need you to do both. And now, this one is the thing you kind of wear around your wrist. It's one decade, see? It's called a clossome, clossome. It's, um, it's little tiny pieces of varied color stone all wound together, very delicately enamel beads. This one has to be this gold filled, this one, and it has the miraculous metal here, very small. I don't know if you care to, can you see that, huh? And here is the most beautiful little cross. Look at that, isn't that sweet? Beautiful. They're about six millimeter bead, ooh. Mom. And now this one here is a sterling silver and Clausome, nay, I think, Clausome is, um, is the name for it. Sterling silver with a sterling silver crucifix. There it is, a little bit bigger than the gold one is. And over here is all these 10 beads. And you say them, here's our father. You say this on your wrist here, see? Beautiful. Now people have asked, don't you have something very special that we could keep our expensive rosaries in? Well, you're in first place, that's okay at night, but you're supposed to have them in your pocket and say them, not just keep them. Here is a beautiful, and here, look at that. Isn't that pretty with gray or velvet in here? It's Mother Pearl, has the Madonna and Child here. I think it's the Madonna of Tenderness, uh, made of sterling silver in here, inlaid, see, on the top of the box. Our Lady of Tenderness is considered one of the most famous, miraculous statues. I've been reading about miraculous statues, and they're awesome, and they're all over the world, especially in Italy. And later on, we're going to offer you a book on that. It's uh, supposed to be, and we don't know for sure, but tradition said this is the first painting of Our Lady done by St. Luke. Not this one, of course, but this is a kind of replica of the one done by St. Luke. Do you know, did you know that St. Luke was an icon painter? Hmm? And knowing Our Ladies, he did. What else could he do but notice her tenderness? And this icon or she's kind of leaning onto Jesus, and he's clasping her hand and her neck. And it's an awesome little box. Now, you know you always want to know more and more about saints, huh? And this one is, and we've never had this book before. It's called Relics by Joan Carol Cruz, and she is the only one that can write about these things. She's written many wonderful books, but it's a fascinating look at some of the great artifacts of our faith collected over centuries. You know, since the whole early, early days of the church, um, people collected oh, parts of clothing and oh, just everything. For example, here's a picture here of part of the post where Jesus was scourged. In the Old Testament, the relics of the prophet Elisha are mentioned in the second book of Kings, chapter 13. 
in the Acts of the Apostles. Chapter 19, there are accounts of the relics of Apostle Paul and the wonders. And even when he was living, somebody snitched his handkerchief and someone was healed touching it. Well, so way back in the early centuries of the church, we've had relics. There's the crown of thorns we have in it. I've seen them all. A nail that pierced our Lord's hand. And it explains how they, where they were, how they were acquired, what happened to them. All oh, you people love a little flower. Here's her veil and mantle. And here is her hair when they cut it. See, even then they kept it. She knew, they all knew this was a special child. Did she have beautiful hair? Here's Bernadette. There's Bernadette. And you know what happened here? This is 30 years after her death. Look at that. She's incorrupt. And this is a wonderful book. You all got to have one. You just have to have one. Now, this is something interesting. On a cold winter night, in a hot summer day, any type, this book is awesome. By Joan Marie, no, Joan Carol Cruz. This book tells you all the miracles miraculous images of Our Lady. There's a hundred true stories of miraculous statues, paintings, icons, images of Our Lady. There's charts of the history and the reason for these. I got this, this kind of came out of here. I didn't mean it to, but here are some pictures. They're miraculous. Here's the one where Our Lady is given the rosary, see here? And it's spanning almost 2,000 years. And I got another book we're going to offer you. Um, this is Our Lady of Perpetual Help. I got something here marked for you here. Uh, let's see, how does it say here? Uh, it says the image of Our Lady Perpetual Help hung in St. Matthew's Church when tremendous favors were granted to all the people from all over the world, where it talks about Guadalupe, Pompeii, Akita, Our Lady of Prom Thucker, I have scores. Oh, how many beautiful statues are crying today? But these don't concern those weeping statues, this concerns miraculous statues. I wish I had time to tell you what Padre Pio th saw as a boy over the statue of St. Peregrini. There's, these are, these are just, just awesome. And you be, you know what it does, a book like this, a book like the relics, any of these, increase your faith. That's what they do. They increase your faith. And that's why you need these treasures. Now this is unusual. It's uh, it got the frame is made out of layered wood. You say, well, so what? Well, I just never saw one made that way. Thought I'd show it to you. I never saw a, a frame made out of layered wood. Look at that. Somebody went to a lot of trouble to make it. And this is the picture of Our Lady of Perpetual Help. And it's painted on wood with a background of gold. It's extremely, and it's decorated with leaves, and it's smooth, just like glass. But see, he's hanging on. I like this picture a lot. He's hanging, the Jesus has suddenly seen these angels with the things of his crucifixion. And, and he's, he went and hung on to our lady's thumb here. Can you see that? See? And he's so scared, you can't see it here, a little bit. He, he lost his, almost lost his shoe. The original was brought to Rome at the end of the 15th century by a merchant. Before he died, he ordered by his will that the picture should be exposed in a church. So crowds flocked to this church for nearly 300 years. And you would not believe the graces that come by praying to Our Lady 
of perpetual help. At the present day, you know, not only many altars and churches, but there are whole dioceses dedicated to Our Lady of Perpetual Help. I think it's a fascinating little picture. And it's always sweet to see Our Lady protecting our Lord because he's afraid. And she was so compassionate and loving. Well, we've showed you all these things and they're just going to make you grow and grow and grow in holiness. Now here's Doug and he's going to recap everything that I've spoken about on this program and then he's going to tell you how you go about ordering it. Thanks, Mother. But first, here's Barbara with some new items for our consideration. The Miraculous Medal is one of the church's greatest sacramentals. St. Maximilian Kolbe, who died in Auschwitz in 1941, had a great devotion to the Miraculous Medal. He said, at various times and in various trials, the Most Blessed Virgin Mary has come to the aid of her children, giving them different ways of attaining salvation more easily and freeing others from the yoke of Satan. Now in this epoch of the Immaculate Conception, the Most Blessed Virgin has given mankind the miraculous medal. Its heavenly origin has been proved by countless miracles of healing and particularly conversion. Today we have several items regarding Mary and the Miraculous Medal. First, we have two rosary boxes. We have Mystical Rose and the Queen of Heaven rosary boxes. Each beautiful rosary box is made of gold-plated pewter and measures two and a half inches in diameter. And next is the Mysteries of the Rosary framed artwork. This beautiful picture features images of the 15 original mysteries of the rosary. It is displayed in an ornate silver frame with an easel back and a hook for hanging. It measures 10 inches by 12 inches. And here is a praying Madonna statue. This beautiful white statue depicts Our Lady in a reverent posture of prayer. It is made of resin and mounted on a black wooden base and measures 11 and 3 quarter inches high. And here is a wonderful book that will increase your devotion to Our Lady. It is the Illustrated Book of Mary, edited by Father Michael Sullivan with contributions from Julie Cragon. How did our Blessed Mother get so many names? This enlightening book features beautiful illustrations and discusses many devotions to Our Lady. It is sure to be a treasured part of your library for years to come. And next we have the Miraculous Medal with Flowers. This beautiful Miraculous Medal is uniquely shaped to almost look like an arbor with floral accents. It is sterling silver and comes on an 18-inch silver-plated chain. Here are birthstone miraculous medals with crystal accents. January features garnet. February features dark amethyst. March is aquamarine. April is crystal. May features emerald. June is amethyst. July features a ruby crystal. August is peridot. September is sapphire, October is rose, November features topaz, and December is zircon. These miraculous medals do not include the actual gemstones, but a crystal accent that features the color of the gemstone. Each comes on an 18-inch rhodium chain. Next we have this blue crystal rosary. This very pretty rosary is made of double-capped 7 millimeter blue crystal beads and a decorative silver oxidized pewter crucifix and miraculous metal center. And next is 
this beautiful, miraculous metal in heart. This beautiful gold over sterling metal measures a half inch on an 18 inch gold plated chain. And finally, we have two other lovely rosaries. First is a lavender rosary with cloisonne, our father beads. This rosary features frosted glass Hail Mary beads. And here is a pink glass rosary with cloisonne, our father beads. The crucifix and miraculous metal center are made of pewter. And now here's Doug to tell us more about these beautiful holy reminders. Thanks, Barbara. Now here's a look at the items that Mother has presented on this program. Now the first of our holy reminders was the gold-filled cloisonne rosary bracelet she presented as a holy reminder. It's priced at $80, and it's item number 10GFC. And that's the rosary bracelet pictured on your screen. We also likewise have the sterling silver cloisonne rosary bracelet as well. Now it's only $68, and it's item number 106SC. This is the sterling silver cloisonne rosary bracelet. Next, we have our Lady of Tenderness Rosary Box, priced at $47, item number 164B, Our Lady of Tenderness Rosary Box. Next is the book Relics, item number 7018, priced at $14 for Relics. Likewise, we have Miraculous Images of Our Lady, priced at $27, item number is 1222, Miraculous Images of Our Lady. And closing things out for Mother Angelica is the Our Lady of Perpetual Help plaque. Pictured on your screen, item number is Z527, priced at $48. Now moving on to the items that Barbara has presented. First up from Barbara was the Mystical Rose Rosary Box, priced at $18. Its item number is 489R2. That's for the Mystical Rose. We also have the Queen of Heaven Rosary Box as well. Also $18, 489QH for Queen of Heaven. Next up is the Mysteries of the Rosary framed artwork that Barbara showed us, priced at $25. Item number 12070, Mysteries of the Rosary framed artwork. Or there's the Praying Madonna statue, priced at $46. Item number 74504B, the Praying Madonna statue. Next up is the Illustrated Book of Mary, priced at $13. Item number is 2431 for the book, The Illustrated Book of Mary, very popular book. Next up, we have Miraculous Metal with Flowers, item number S1137, priced at $42. Now this is the Miraculous Metal with Flowers. Moving ahead, we have the Birthstone Miraculous Medal. This one for January is 426GA, priced at $12. Now for February, it's 426DA, that's for February, $12. For March, it is 426AQ, that's priced at $12 as well, and that's for March. If you want one for April, it's 426CR, and it's $12 as well. Again, these are Birthstone Miraculous Medals. For May, 426EM, priced at $12, that's May. The Birthstone Miraculous Medal for June is 426AM, priced at $12, that's June. There's also one for July, it's 426RU, priced at $12 again. And for August, it's 426PE, priced at $12. Or there's the Birthstone Miraculous Medal for September. It's number 426BL, priced at $12, that's for September. For October, it's 426RS, now this is October, Birthstone Miraculous Medal. And then for November, it's 426TO, again $12. And wrapping things up in that grouping, we have the Birthstone Miraculous Medal for December, it's 426ZR, also $12. Moving ahead, we have the Blue Crystal Rosary Barber showed us, priced at $34. Item number is 701S for the Blue Crystal Rosary. There's also the Miraculous Medal in Heart, Gold Filled. J426M is the item number, priced at $36. That's the Miraculous Medal in Heart, Gold Filled. 
There's also the purple bead rosary she showed us, P139R, priced at $19 for the purple bead rosary. And closing things out for Barbara on this program is the pink rosary with claws and a our father beads that she showed us, and it's P140R, and it's priced at $20. That's the pink rosary with claws and a our father beads. So if you'd like to order any of these items, just go to our website, www.ewtnreligiouscatalog.com, where you can see all the items featured on this particular program. In fact, all of the items offered by our EWTN Religious Catalog are on our website, available 24 hours a day for you to order. And of course, you can always, if you'd prefer, still give us a toll-free call at 1-800-854-6316, and you can use Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and or American Express either on our website or when ordering over the phone. And now, back to Barbara. When Mother Angelica founded EWTN Religious Catalog, she hoped we would be the most widely known and trusted source for religious articles and other items to help our viewers deepen their knowledge and understanding of the Roman Catholic faith you have many choices when deciding where to purchase Holy Reminders. Every purchase made directly supports the important work and mission of EWTN. We sincerely appreciate your choice to support us through your purchases from Religious Catalog. <laughs> 